right now. The draft is here, but we're still waiting to see what the Lions will do with the 29th overall pick. The Lions have been busy on draft night in the past, trading up, trading down. No movement yet tonight, but there's still a ways to go until the Lions pick. We'll bring in our sports director, Thomas Cook, who's live in Detroit. And Thomas, I know there's been a lot of buzz and a lot of excitement leading up to this, but we're getting down to crunch time and business time for the Lions. Yeah, the Lions just a few picks away. Well, let's talk about the fans that showed up here tonight. The draft underway in Detroit, 275,000 fans came here to Campus Marshes to watch the draft. That's a day one record, and so many fans here, they reached capacity and had to close all of the gates to get into the draft. The draft started with Roger Goodell, Eminem opening it up, Lions legends Barry Sanders, Calvin Johnson along with Lions players, Jared Goff chance opened the draft. Caleb Williams was the first overall pick. J.J. McCarthy, the Michigan quarterback, went number 10 overall to the Minnesota Vikings. He's done a lot of winning at Michigan. 27-1 as a starter. He goes to a situation with a lot of weapons. Justin Jefferson, his top target, one of the best wide receivers in all of the NFL. So as fans start to trickle out of here, the next question is what will the Lions do with the 29th pick in the NFL? draft. This is such an odd spot for the Lions to be at the back of the draft after the NFC Championship game appearance. So what will they do? So many options, so many different ways they could go with not a glaring hole. Edge rusher, the main one, cornerback, secondary, one of them as well. Offensive line, questions about long-term health there. And they need a playmaker on the outside as well. So so many ways the Lions can go, Josh, and we are just moments away from hearing what they do it back here in the studio. Thomas, I'm curious, with the amount of people in Detroit tonight, what's the craziest thing you've seen tonight? Is it the outfit? Is it the antics, chants? What are some of the things you've seen tonight? Well, Josh, we all knew Roger Goodell was going to get booed when he walked out, but the roars we heard when Eminem was next to him were pretty incredible. The Jared Goff chant started by Amon Ross St. Brown pretty good up there as well too. Some of the outfits really good. But the number one thing that sticks out to me, a dog dressed like Rory. He had a full Lions costume on and he definitely was stealing the show. Josh, it's been an incredible atmosphere here down in Detroit. Really cool to see what this city, this state has been waiting so long for and they delivered on night one. I, I, I bet they have, uh, Thomas, and we can expect that when that Detroit Lions pit comes up, it's going to get even louder there. We'll catch up with you again in a little bit.